Hey, what's going on, dudes? Everybody, it's David here. We are back with another video. Now, in this video, guys, we're going to be talking about a specific MLS club, a new MLS club, and whether I think they can win the MLS title. Now, we're going to be going over two previous teams that have been very close to the title or won the title that have recently come into MLS that have been allowed to spend a lot of money, and their designated player that they first signed, their first designated player, has done really, really well for them. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about Inter-Miami FC and whether I think they can win the title. Now, if you guys all know, Inter-Miami CF, it actually is the team owned by David Beckham. And, yeah, they this, this would have been their inaugural season, but we don't really know if the MLS season is going to be finished because of this whole, what, uh, what's going on in the world. But if I remember right, their first game was a draw. I'm not sure who they drew against. They were actually supposed to play against my team, Atlanta United, in March and then in July down in Florida. I have no idea if that game is going to take place, but if it is, you know I'm definitely going. But... This is this is this is the reason why I think Inter Miami in Inter Miami Inter Miami CF has a very good shot of being a contender for the MLS Cup title or MLS title MLF play the MLS the winners of the MLS basically it's because the last two teams that had that have come in and had a lot of money to spend or a decent amount of money to spend are LAFC and Atlanta United my favorite team. And both of those teams have done good in their in their first two years in the MLS. It, sorry, for for Atlanta United, the first three years they've done well. Atlanta United's inaugural season for the MLS was 2017, and in 2017 they made the playoffs, but they got eliminated by the to um to Columbus. Sorry, they lost to Columbus, and yeah, I remember I remember seeing that and saying, "Dang, I wish Atlanta could have got at least to the final, the conference finals," but. I was I was so fine. I was so okay because it was their first season. They had Hector Villalba. I don't think they had Barco yet. They didn't have Joseph Martinez yet, or I think they may have. I don't think they had Joseph Martinez yet. Then the second season for Atlanta United, we brought in Joseph Martinez, and I think we brought in Zico Barco, and and we brought in Miguel Almirón, who's currently right now playing in the Premier League for Newcastle United, and we won the title. And then this past season, 2019 season. We we kind of, we lost Almirion and it was kind of a injury injury an injury real season. We did make the playoffs though, but we didn't get to the finals. Um, and I think this season Joseph Martinez is out with the injury right now. But of course, with no matches going on, this gives him a likelier chance to come back, considering he could re he can rest and rehab the injury, and then when the season possibly does start he will be ready to come on and, and score for Atlanta United because he's probably their biggest player that they need right now. So Atlanta United looks like they're going to be set for at least a couple more years in the future, hopefully for the long term. LAFC, whose inaugural season was in 2018. In 2018, they also made the playoffs, but they lost to Salt Lake, Real Salt Lake in the, I think it was the, um, the, the beginning round, I think it was the playoff round. I'm not really sure to get in because I'm not sure. I, I think they fin I think they finished like third or fourth in in the conference. So yeah, same same thing with Atlanta. And then the second season, which was this past season, 2019, they had the top goal scorer in Carlos Vela. They had one of the best young stars or designated player. 2018 was Diego um Diego Rossi, the young left winger from Uruguay, and he did perform good in 2019. They ended up making it to the conference finals, finishing first in their conference, and this is the same year that Zlatan was playing in the MLS, and LAFC still finished first in, in, in the Western Conference. That that is, that is absolutely amazing. If you can beat a team and finish ahead of a team that has Zlatan Ibrahimovic, you deserve to win this league. But Carlos Vela went off. Carlos Vela, I'm pretty sure, had around, what, 32, 33 goals in MLS season? It was it was really really impressive from from Vela, but unfortunately they were not able to do what Atlanta United did, and they were not able to win the title. They lost in the conference finals against Seattle Sounders, who I actually think went on to win the title. So now we move on to this new team, Inter Miami CF, David Beckham's new team. Do I think they could have they could have done what Atlanta United did? Of course I could. Oh, of course I, I think they could. 
I don't think they're they're going they're they're going to be like around mid table or bottom of the table like Cor- like Orlando City has been. They're going to be right up there. One reason why they have the funding. If they if they if they want to get a designated player, I think they are have a designated. I'm not sure if they already have a first de- designated player, but if they if they do when the July August transfer window comes in, it's gonna be it's some it's gonna be somebody that's well known in Europe. I would honestly say if they actually went out and got James Rodriguez as their designated player, I'd just be in shock and I'd just be like, yep, go ahead, win the title. They wouldn't win the, they're not going to win the title in their first season, but they will win the title within their first three seasons. They're going to be another Atlanta United. They're going to come, make the playoffs, or get close to the playoffs. Second season, get, make the playoffs, and then third season, they're going to win the title. That will prove David Beckham right, and that will, that will give something to Fort Lauderdale that the last time, the last soccer team to play in Fort Lauderdale was the Fort Lauderdale Strikers in Lockhart Stadium, which is where they were, the Inter Miami CF Stadium, I've heard, is temporarily or is actually in or is actually there. But in t- yeah, in terms of Inter Miami CF, I really hope this team does good because it'll be good competition for Atlanta United. It'll be good competition for the Eastern Conference, considering the worst team in the Eastern Conference is probably going to be. Chicago Fire or it's the Orlando City because uh, Orlando City has been the la- what's the laughing stock of the MLS last season, and I I actually have a Atlanta, uh, Orlando City shirt, but I don't really, I wear it sometimes, but I know for sure that Orlando City is definitely the worst team in the Eastern Conference. Western Conference I don't really know who's the worst team. I don't really think the Western Conference has the worst team. I think the Western Conference in the MLS is a tougher division. It's a tougher conference. Sorry. And the Eastern Conference is a little bit is a little bit easier, but it still has some very good competition. And if I were to say um, where I think um, Inter Miami are going to finish the season, I probably would say Inter Miami CF is going to finish top six in the ML in their in the Eastern Conference, possibly make it into the playoffs and probably get knocked out like Atlanta United have, and like LAS LAFC have. So. It's really going to be a learning year for David Beckham and this Inter Miami CF team. But when it comes to that second season, watch out for watch out for that team because that team is going to be right up there. That team is going to give a hey, that team is probably going to get me angry during some games when they play against Atlanta United. I know that for sure, but I'm ready for it. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please do smash the like button. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all later. Peace.